One of the most remarkable moments in life is when you meet that one person who makes your world complete. That one person that you have a special bond with. That one person who just everything clicks with. And Sarah, we really do hope that one day you will find that person. <laughs> we really do, we really do. Of course I'm joking, you have found that person. And this handsome man who stands next to you today in Scott. A marriage is what happens tomorrow. It's what happens next Sunday. Six months time, 50 years time. It's the being together. It's the sharing all that you have with one another. And it's the being in love with one another. That's what marriage is. And that is what I hope and pray that your marriage will be for the rest of your lives together. So, Scott, if I can ask you to take that, and ask you to take that. I want you to think back to the first time you held that hand. I want you to remember that the hand you are holding today is the hand that you held on to so tight and got you through certain things in your life. And it is the hand that you will hold on to in your future and face whatever your married life throws in. I love you, Seramando. And those are words I first said to you over five years ago. And your face by then seemed to say, that was a bit fast. Um, but now it's something we say to each other every day, without exception, without fail. But just because we say it more often doesn't mean that it means any less. It means I love you when you smile in the morning. It means I love you when you don't. It means I love you when you need to push. And it means I love you when you push me. They mean I love you when you somehow manage to fill the dishwasher with three cups and a spoon. I don't know how you do that. Um, it doesn't mean you just make me happy. It means you've brought me more joy in the last five years than I've ever had experience before. When we're together and we say the words I love you, it makes the world seem right and my day a little bit brighter. So here in front of our friends and family, I vow to return this favour whenever I'm able. To love you, to encourage you, to ensure any challenge we face is one we face together. To rearrange the dishwasher whenever you touch it. And more importantly, to fill your life with as much joy as you bring to mind. I love you, Sarah. Mom. Scott. On the 11th of October 2019, you asked me to do you the honour of becoming your wife. This is the best question you have ever asked me and the easiest yes I have ever said. So Scott Melvin, I promise to love you every single day for the rest of my days, even on the days where I like you a little less. I promise to cherish each and every moment with you because we know that tomorrow is not promised. I vow to be your confidant, celebrate your successes and support you through the challenges that life will bring us. But most of all, I promise to keep having the most fun-filled, love-filled adventures with you. So thank you for asking me the best question ever and the honour is all mine today that today is the day I become your wife. I love you. Let's get married. <laughs> I get to love you it's the best thing that I'll ever do I get to love you It's a promise I make to you Whatever may come, your heart I will choose Forever I'm yours, forever I do I get to love Sometimes 
Love you. I get to love.